Hi friends, welcome to HTML Lectures. My name is Hadil Mustafa. Today we are going to learn how to give a replay for notice received under form ASMT1. Sorry, ASMT10. Uh, so for that, this ASMT10 form is based on rule number 99 subsection 1 so we have to know about rule number 99 very clearly then only we can file the replay so let us start with the rule number 99 first of all i am reading subsection 1 of rule number 99 were any return furnished by a registered person is selected for scrutiny the proper officer shall scrutinize the same in accordance with the provisions of section 61 with reference to the intimation information available with him and in case of any discrepancy he shall issue a notice to the said person in form GST ASMT 10 informing him of such discrepancies and seeking his explanation thereto within such time not exceeding 30 days from the date of service of notice or such further period as may be permitted by him and also were possible quantifying the amount of tax interest and any other amount payable in relation to such discrepancy so here they are saying that as per section 61 the proper officer while scrutinizing his uh, your uh, gst filing he may come across various discrepancies like the difference in GSTR 2A and your claim in uh, 3B or difference in GSTR 1 and 3B all these are referred in section 61 so in that if there is any discrepancy they have found they will send you a notice under form GST ASMT 10 and if there is any tax interest and any other amount payable then that have to be that also will be mentioned there so that is the rule number 99 subsection 1 then if you receive a notice under form a 10 then you have to do something the registered person may accept the discrepancy mentioned in the notice issued under subsection 1 and pay the tax interest any in other amount raising from such discrepancy and inform the same or furnish an explanation for discrepancies in form GST ASMT 11 to the prof proper officer that's the action that you have to take so you have to file reply under form ASMT 11 the next one rule number three were the explanation furnished by the registered person or information submitted under subsection sub rule 2 is found to be acceptable if whatever you have given is acceptable or properly given then what the uh, officer will do the information is found to be acceptable the proper officer shall inform him accordingly in form GST ASMT 12 so these are the three forms uh, currently I have received for my party form GST ASMT 10 so I have a uh, uh, given it here the party have a, a difference in GSTR 3b and 1 and the difference is uh, being given here so we have to uh, go for uh, it's a given you have to pay this much interest and all this has given so we have to form a reply for this thing okay now i am uh, going for to give a replay for this okay for this uh, we have to go for gst site so let's go first log into your gst site okay then from there go to services and you can see user service 
from there go to view additional notice or orders you can see that there is a scrutiny of return notice for intimating discrepancies in return in form gst asmt 10 okay the date of issue is uh, 7 3 2020 so let us take the action view now we can see the notice the reference number issue date due date the last date of replay and all this section number 61 section 60 number this notice is based on section 61 and the attachment attachment stating the reason for the notice so for this you can give replay by clicking on the replace tab there you can see an add replay option click on that and you can see the notice and select the notice and you can see here this options here actually i have prepared a replay in pdf so i don't want to write any replay here so i just give here okay uh, then if you have any payment of tax that after when you're giving the replay uh, itself uh, if there is any due tax which is not paid something and then you can give uh, the details here if you have made any payment in uh, drc 03 and all this uh, these details you can give here okay then you can attach the documents replay of notice i have attached i have uh, one more file that is also attached now i just give the verification option then the authorized signatory i select the place i'm writing then i'm giving for a filing option okay here you have two options either you can for, go for dsc option or submit with evc so after filing gst asmt 10 replay then uh, you will get a pdf file which you can download from the site itself it shows the form gst smt 11 okay reply to notice received under section 61 intimating discrepancies in return so this you can keep and save in your folder uh, no further action is required from you uh, if this is properly replied then you will get a form under asmt 12 otherwise it will go for other uh, like uh, special audits and all these cases section 65 uh, and all these sections may apply uh, during that period so give the proper replay and uh, it is better to appear with the officer who have sent you the replay then uh, you can get clearly what is the replay they are asking for thank you thanks for watching please support my channel and please subscribe to my videos uh, so you can uh, click the bell icon also so that you can get my new video on the GST and other topics.